Hi everyone, my name is Kevin and today I want to show you how you can join the Windows Insider program. Why would you want to be an insider? Well, first off, it's pretty cool being an insider uh, of anything, uh, but as part of the Windows Insider program, you get to see the latest and greatest that's coming out with Windows before anyone else does. And as full disclosure, I work at Microsoft. I was working on a new app called the Office app and we released it to insiders in December 2018 and then it became available broadly and publicly in February 2019. So if you were part of the Windows Insider program, you would have gotten to see the app about three months before the broad public could see it. Uh, so that's just one of the many reasons you just get to see all the latest and greatest things that are coming out. Uh, so if you're convinced and you want to join, let's jump in on the desktop and I'll show you how to do it. Um, here I am on my Windows desktop and what we're going to do to sign up for the Insider program is we're going to click on search uh, down here in the bottom left hand corner and we're going to type in Windows Insider. Uh, you'll see one of the best match options that pops up is the Windows Insider program settings. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Uh, what that does is uh, here it says get Insider preview builds. Join the Windows Insider program to get preview builds of Windows 10. Uh, the reason Microsoft does this is they want uh, people using these early versions of Windows so you could give feedback and then they can make improvements based on uh, the feedback that they're hearing. Uh, so sounds good. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to click on this. Uh, it wants me to choose the account that I want to use. Um, I have a few different accounts to choose from. One of the things you'll have to do is this, if, if this is your first time joining the Windows Insider program, you'll have to make sure that your account is enabled for the Windows Insider program. Uh, it's not really that hard to do. Just pick the account you want to use. And if you haven't signed up yet, they'll just bring you to a website where you can sign up. The one downside though is if you haven't signed up before, when, once you sign up on the website, it typically takes about you know, 24 hours uh, from when you sign up to when you can start getting the insider builds. Um, I've already done that because I don't want us to have to sit here and wait for 24 hours. That's a long time. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to choose my kevin.strafford at live.com account. Uh, and now it's loading. So we're going to just wait a moment. That went pretty fast. Um, and then the next prompt I get is what uh, kind of content would you like to receive? And as a Windows Insider, you have a few different options. One of them is just fixes apps and drivers. So basically you don't get a new version of Windows, you simply get updates. And so that's a very conservative uh, kind of approach you could take uh, where you just kind of get fixes, drivers, all that. The next one is active development of Windows. So this is as Microsoft is working on the next version of Windows, uh, you get any updates, you get any new apps, you get any fixes uh, that are going towards that next release of Windows. And then the most aggressive version of them all is there's another option that says skip ahead to the next Windows release. Um, so right now, Microsoft, you know, they're working towards the next release of Windows, but there's also another branch you could go in which basically bypasses the next release and you get to go uh, see all the very future things coming up. In terms of stability of different releases, the, the top one just fixes, that's probably the most stable, kind of the safest one to go with. Uh, skip ahead to the next Windows release. Um, you're probably, there's probably going to be a little bit less stability. There might be a few more bugs that you encounter. Um, so depending on how adventurous you are and you know, how far ahead you want to see uh, the next development of Windows, uh, you can kind of choose your own storybook, whichever one you want to go with. Um, I'm not quite the biggest risk taker. This is my home machine, so I don't want to be on the super, super latest and greatest at work. Maybe I'd go on the, uh, the very future uh, looking one, but I'm just going to go with active development of Windows. Uh, and now I'm going to go ahead and confirm. And the next prompt is what pace do you want to receive preview builds? And um, so I have two different options. There's fast and slow and, and really those descriptions are pretty accurate. Fast just means you get it a little bit sooner than everyone else. Uh, and then slow, you get it a little bit later. You're still getting it ahead of the general public, but you get it a little bit later. Um, here too, in terms of the stability, slow, you're probably going to be, um, you're, you're going to have a little bit more stability and then fast. Um, it's probably going to be a little less stability. Um, going back to my example with the Office app that we released, first we pushed it out to what we call the fast ring. So first it went out to those people. We started seeing how people were using it. We got feedback. And once we felt pretty confident that, hey, you know, things look good, things are pretty stable, then we pushed it out to slow. Um, so it's just in terms of do you want to get the latest and greatest or do you want to wait a little bit? Um, once again, this is my home machine. I want a little bit more stability. So I'm going to go with slow. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and confirm this. Uh, I get a nice little kind of thank you note that people like me are helping improve Windows for billions. Um, great, sounds good. And then the next step is going to be to restart now or restart later. I'm going to go ahead and restart later because I'm doing screen recording and that'll mess with it. 
Um, and so now I'm signed up for the Windows Insider program. Uh, I'm gonna get current release Windows and I'm in the slow ring. And uh, as soon as I'm ready to get the latest build of Windows, all I have to do is hit restart now and then I'm gonna be on the latest and greatest. Um, so that's how simple it is to become a Windows Insider. Uh, you'll be able to start providing feedback, you'll be able to help improve Windows, uh, I guess for billions of people as that message says. Uh, so hopefully you found this video helpful and if you wanna become a Windows Insider, uh, share in the comments some of the cool new functionality uh, that you see as part of Windows. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you wanna see future content like this, hit that subscribe button, that way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And hey, if there are any tutorial videos, uh, any uh, subjects that you want a video on, please also leave a comment down below and I'll get to it. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.